One way to go about finding solutions, if they exist for a linear system, is to graph each of the lines and see if the two lines intersect. If you think about it, that's the visualization of what we're trying to do here. We're trying to find a point that both of these lines have in common. That means if we think about this graphically as a line, and this is another line, we're looking for the point of intersection. So one way to proceed is just to graph these things. So let's take a look at this a linear system, and let's actually graph. So let's see. There are lots of ways of graphing this. You can write the first one as y equals negative x plus 4 and see that it has a, a y-intercept at 4 and has a slope of negative 1, which means I drop 1 down and go 1 over, drop 1 down, go 1 over, and so forth, until I get down to 4 comma 0. And if I connect those points with a straight edge, we get the beautiful, fabulous, gorgeous looking red line. That's the red. Now, if you want to graph this second one, I could write this as y equals 2x minus 2, bringing the negative y to this side and the 2 over to the other side as a negative. And then I'd see that the y-intercept there would be negative 2. And the slope would actually equal 2, which means I go 2 up and 1 over. And 2 up and 1 over, and you keep doing that. And you do that long enough, and you get the beautiful green, the beautiful green line. That's right, the beautiful green line. That's the green. OK, well, is there a solution? That's actually asking the exact same thing as saying, do these lines intersect? Well, it looks like they intersect. In fact, it looks like they intersect right here, doesn't it? Right here at the point 1, 2. This looks like at the point 2, comma, 2. 2 over, 2 up. Well, we can see if that's actually correct by plugging back in and checking in the way we just talked about. So let's let x be 2 and y be 2 and see if we're satisfied. 2 plus 2 equals 4. Checks. We've got to check the second one, though. 2 times 2, that's 4. Minus 2, that's 2, equals 2. That checks. And so we can see by checking that looking at the graph of each of these lines, the system actually points to a genuine solution. And you can see that solution right in here. 2, comma, 2.